Hello and welcome to Mortal Glory. This game is a gladiator roguelike simulator kind of game where you take a team of gladiators into the arena and you decide exactly what kind of gear they're going to have, what kind of stats, skills, etc. And you try to get them to the Hall of Fame, as you can see right there. If you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. Otherwise, let's continue with my current save, just so you can actually see exactly what's going on in terms of a slightly later game uh, little situation that we have going on here so we have four different places that you can go to initially you have the guild house which basically just shows you what your roster is this is one of my other characters atlantia is her name and let me just say she's an absolute beast but unfortunately she took a lot of damage in an, uh, in a previous fight and she is at five hp now that little number in the bottom right of her little portrait there that nine that indicates how many damage markers she currently has on her, and that means that it's going to take a bit of time for her to recover from that. But otherwise, she would die from basically one attack, which is really not very good. So I'm leaving her in the guild house right now to sort of chill out. Now, there's also gold. Every single time you complete some objective in the game, you'll gain some gold, and you'll also gain gold for victory. Now, you can also train people. So if I wanted to, for example, train Peel, who is my insane, really, really powerful epic wizard that I have just recruited very recently. If I wanted to train him, I just put him in here. And then I'd be able to select one of these stats and level him up a little bit. So you can see here that I can train him in wisdom for 51 gold if I want to. But I'm actually not going to do that because it is quite expensive and he already has 21 wisdom and then we also have a gnome here napu napu is his name and uh, he's he's pretty crazy too he does a lot of damage then we have zithia zithia has been really great for me she's very powerful too she's got a good amount of strength and agility and then we have uh, deswal who is an uh, who is a vampire basically and uh yeah they're very good at debuffing the opponent and uh, making sure that they don't really know what they're doing, basically. Otherwise, I have a bunch of different uh, necklaces and things like that. I'm actually going to be giving Deswal this necklace right here because this is much better than what she was wearing beforehand. Otherwise, my other fellows have some really, really good weapons as well. So apart from the guild house where you can do all of that, you can go to recruit and then you can take a look at any anyone else that you want to recruit here. They come in varying different rarities, if you like, you know, if you want to use the term rarity or very various different experience levels, shall we say. And they range all from gray, which is very, very low level, very cheap to uh, recruit to extremely expensive, very powerful units as you can see right there. And I'm not going to be getting anyone right now because I think my team is actually kind of decent apart from Deswal being extremely damaged. But hopefully, uh, well, I'm hopeful that I'll be able to show you some really, really cool fights before they die. But this is a roguelike, bear that in mind. So the further you get, uh, the more you're going to unlock for the next run, which in my opinion is actually really fun. So yes, otherwise everyone's doing pretty fine you can go to the shop and buy some stuff if you want to and otherwise these are our next opponents you can see right here i'm actually really really far into the game and you can see that i am two battles away from reaching the uh well i i guess reaching the finals i guess maybe i'm not entirely sure now as i was speaking uh, about it before gold as you can see right here doesn't have anything there, there the, the emperor does not have any demands or desires but if you were if he were to have some then you would get 30 percent bonus gold and you would also get uh well fulfill the demand or face the wrath of the emperor or you know he would probably do something now there are random events as well that will before you before uh, before you in between fights so you do have to be a bit careful of that but anyway Let's, uh, let's see what I can do here. So to move around your character, you click on one of these buttons. It is turn-based, as you can see down here. And I'm going to be using Chaos Curse, I think. I have 3 AP with this particular character, so it will be a little bit slow to move around. But hopefully I'll be able to use Chaos Curse on them. There we go. That guy is now feeling distracted. And that means he's not going to be in his right mind. At least I hope so. 
Uh, now we have Mind Barrier. Bertram is using Mind Barrier, so that means he's going to be a little bit more, as you can see, distracted, reduces magic defense by seven. So one of our magic users will do massive damage to that guy. And Mind Barrier is increasing magic defense. So then we have Dirty Stab, opposing, uh, opposing Strike with Zithia right here, but I'm not going to be doing anything with her, I don't think. We're just going to be hiding behind this pillar to prevent her from taking any damage from long-ranged attacks. Ooh, all, yeah, we, we did take a little bit of damage because there are some abilities that will just, will, will just hit no matter what you do, but there are also others that rely on line of sight and things like that. So, for example... This is a line of sight kind of ability. And then we have the Breath of Frost, which is not so much. So what we're going to do is move here. And I'll do Pressure Bolt. Boom. Let's try and do some damage. There you go. 32 damage to that guy. Not too bad. And now we can move around our Gnome as well. And I would like to use Zealot Bolt. So let's see if we can make that happen. Or maybe Magic Javelin. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Magic Javelin is going to be really good. Boom. And he's down. There you go. Our gnome did 52 damage against that guy. Such crazy damage. Really is very, very good. And there we go. Okay, so now let's see what happens. Ooh, wow. We took massive damage. That was a critical hit from Bertram right there. Yeah, he did massive damage. Kind of unfortunate, but it's okay. Because now look at how much damage we're doing to Bertram in response to that. And let's do some damage to Talwin right there. And then we can also do some poison damage or blazing swing. I think I'm going to kill Bertram. There you go. Bertram is now taken out. And ooh, now who am I? Oh, yes. Okay, so I'm, I'm using Zithia right here. So I think I'm going to move over here. Then we'll use Dirty Stab. Ooh, she, ah, she, she dodged. Did you see that? That was really bad. Okay, hopefully we'll be able to do something here. Uh, yeah, we'll have to do that. Resisted a harmful effect. Ooh, okay, that's kind of, that's kind of harsh. Let's see if we can continue to eliminate her. Oh, so much damage. Did you see that? So much damage. That's crazy. Okay. Hopefully we'll be able to do something here. Boom. And uh, can we can we kill him from here? No. As you can see, we can't kill him from here because our own unit is actually standing in front of us. So we might be able to use this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so our gnome was the only one to get eliminated it's not not great but that's okay because as you can see right here every single time one of your units survives a combat round you're going to get a skill level up of some kind so Deswal has gained armor and the others have gained wisdom it's random what you gain and then we also have a reward here that I will be able to choose and we can go for a spell book that teaches this which uh, increases knockback chance by 50%. That's actually really, really good. I'm going to take one of those. Knockback chance is really, really fantastic. You also have the ability to gain titles. Some of your some of your team uh, will level up, and in time they will gain titles. The the audience, the crowd, and their uh, their renown will, will grow, and then they will be able to gain titles that will give them various bonuses and benefits. So that's actually really cool. Otherwise, what do we have here? This is our random event. There are random events after every single battle. A local healer comes to offer his services after hearing about your injured gladiators. Heal my team. Yes, please. There you go. Deswal was healed 6, Zithia was healed 2, and Napu was healed 7, which is absolutely fantastic for a very cheap price of only 100 gold. I'm pretty happy with that because now, as you can see, Deswal is 164 HP strong, Zithia is 80 HP strong, Pio is 112 still, and Napu is 100. So we're very, very strong right now. Very good in actual fact. So now we can go here if we want to, and we can recruit some people. So... If I want to, I can recruit this Undine. I can recruit a gnome if I so desire. I can recruit uh, a vampire and various other things. But I don't need to do that right now because I think we're, we're doing pretty nicely, at least in my opinion. There are a bunch of other things that we might want to use here. We might want to upgrade some of our equipment. But you can see here that most of my equipment is actually really, really good because I've just been extremely lucky. So... 
I guess I could get... Mm, I actually don't want to get anything, to be honest. I would like to be able to teach Animalistic Roar to someone. I think I'm going to teach it to Zithia, because Zithia only has two attacking abilities, and she's really, really good at basically, like, murdering people. So we'll just give her Animalistic Roar. And otherwise, I think I'm pretty happy to continue. What about this? That's Agility. Yeah, so... Basically, every single stat is different in what it does, obviously. But a very basic rundown is strength gives you more physical damage and allows you to knock back people into the wall whenever you knock back someone that you usually do much more damage in that case. Agility is how often you critical and how often you dodge. And also you do gain additional action points for that. And then obviously wisdom is all to do with magic, vitality, self-explanatory you gain more hp you gain more debuff resistance and then you also have armor which is how much physical damage the character can block and otherwise they are able to have a maximum of four skills and that's that's pretty much it they also have a variety of different passive traits that they are able to gain so you see here that zithia has tenacious which is plus three armor but minus 20 knockback resistance and then she also has heroic this unit receives two extra injury counters when wounded unfortunately but does gain plus 25 dodge chance which is really good anyway this is going to be our final round in this tier of the tournament and you can see here that all of our opponents are super super harsh we are going to have to ignore Raz for the most part because he is a troll with massive defense. So we'll see how we do. Let's see what we can do here. I'm a bit worried, to be honest. So let's just move like this. I will try if I can. Whoa, that guy just buffed himself like no one's business. But yeah, I will try if I can to eliminate Preston first because he only has 40 HP. And I think we should have a pretty easy time of things doing that so uh, it doesn't seem like they have any long range spell cut never mind apparently she is the long range spell caster well that's unfortunate <laughs> i was actually hoping that that would not be the case but oh well never mind okay so now we can actually murder this guy or at least i hope oh he only had two ap ah oh, my bad my bad oh well okay so i could use magic javelin could use this no that's not going to work either so i guess i'm just going to hold position there and we'll let them move towards us. There we go. He's burning now. That's fantastic. That means he takes a little bit of damage every single turn. So I'm happy with that. Now, the great thing about Chaos Curse is that this does not consume a turn. So you can basically use it every other turn without any cost, basically, with the exception of using some mana. But that's really not a big deal, in my opinion. So I'm actually just going to be moving Deswal into a really, really aggressive positioning right here. And we're also going to do a relatively similar thing here. Let's uh, let's let's buff everyone. Can we? Did we? Did we do that? Did we, did we do that? No, we, we're not doing that. We need to do that. There we go. There we go. Okay, fantastic. So that's what we wanted to do. And now let's move. Uh, we need to do pressure ball. Okay, I'm going to do this. Boom. Oh, look at that. And he's burning. He's going to be dead next turn. That's fantastic. That's really really good. Okay, so now what we can do is we can move our little gnome. Unfortunately, our gnome is kind of damaged, so I don't know whether we're going to be able to achieve anything here, but we're just going to leave him like that. He's taking more damage. Maybe I should have moved him away, but I don't know whether I really wanted to do that. Let's do Blazing Swing so we can get this person burning as well. Oh, so much damage. Did you see how much damage that dealt? How much damage did, was it? 48 plus collision damage. As I said, knocking back enemies is massive damage. Really, really good damage. So I'm happy with that. Okay, so let's move forward and forward again. And we'll use Opposing Strike to give ourselves Stone Skin. Stone Skin is a way for us to... Oh, like, look at that. We actually got uh, knocked back. And <laughs> Zithia was knocked into Napu. And as a result, took massive damage and dealt damage to him because if you knock the same units into each other then obviously they you know they take damage like that which is really really harsh boom she's dead that's not a not a problem raz is going to be kind of difficult for us to deal with but i think uh oh wow we actually pushed him back that's pretty good 
Uh, unfortunately, Zithia, I think, is going to die. Oh, no, she's actually going to stay alive. Okay, great. I'm actually going to move her away here because every single time they get knocked unconscious, they have a chance of dying. So they're not going to die every single time, but they have a chance of dying. At least that's what I have so far observed. So let's see if I can take him down. Oh, there you go. A little bit of extra damage right there. And now we can just move there's while Oh, a little bit of extra damage. Nice. Okay. Just going to hold position there and we'll see if we can eliminate him. There we go. With victory. Oh, yeah. Peel is absolutely crazy, crazy good, by the way. Just look at his stats. His stats alone are just crazy good. Otherwise, everyone else has gained armor. And we now get an opportunity to take, oh, yeah, some really nice stuff. Uh, I'm actually wondering who could use this. Mm. Uh, at the moment, that's really good. Zithia might. Yeah, yeah, I think Zithia might want something. So we'll get her the... Yeah, no, that's already really good. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll get her the spear. We'll give Zithia the spear. This is it, people. You have done well to get this far, but the most important fight still remains. Your sponsor has arranged a healer to get your gladiators prepared for the coming endeavor. You take a deep breath. Now all there is left to do is make the final preparations. Glory awaits, and Napu was healed by four, which is fantastic. So let's go to the shop, and I will be replacing Zithia's weapon. There we go. And is there anything else that I really want to get here? Because there are some really, really good weapons that you can buy, and I have 616 gold, so generally it's really nice. What is this? Damage is multiplied by the percentage of HP missing from the attacker. That's actually kind of crazy. Let's buy that. And we will give that to Peel, I think. There we go. All right, so we can technically recruit someone. So I could technically recruit Biggie, who is the ominous gnome. And uh, I could I could do that. He is a um, amnesia, amnesia consuming strength buff. Increases strength by seven. So he's like a buffing, debuffing character. That's actually pretty fun. But I think we're just going to go with the team that I have right here. And we'll see whether we can win the final battle. So let's have a look here. Emperor Desires, sprinting. Move a friendly unit six times within one turn. Wow, that's not going to happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, bear in mind that these demands and desires also apply to the enemy. So that's also something to bear in mind. Okay, a group of mongrels making it this far. How inspiring. You have reached the end. This is where you die. All right, so Somba is insane. As you can see right here, he has 164 HP and 49 strength. That means he does 49% additional damage, which is problematic. Whoa, he moved really, really far. Okay. Debuff. Oh, he resisted it. Okay, that's kind of harsh. Okay, I'm going to have to deal with these enemies coming up here so i'm gonna move zithia over there and actually just murder him straight up boom there you go look at that he's almost dead basically okay zithia is taking some damage not that much though icarus explosion is going to be so powerful against somber if we can actually get him damaged a little bit otherwise i'm going to use ooh, I'm, I'm going to use pressure bolt on this guy hopefully that will ah, i was hopeful that it would take him down a little bit more than that but he obviously has some pretty decent uh, magic resistance. Okay, so magic javelin will need to be used here as well. So let's use that against this guy. Oh, he's dead. 110 damage. That was a critical hit. Wow, crazy. Okay, so this guy is also using animalistic roar, amazingly enough. Uh, I'm, I'm going to just wait here. Zithia is being knocked back, which is unfortunate. Let's use this. And Archie is just about to die, as far as I'm aware. Let's have a look. Almost. Almost. Okay, I'm going to use Breath of Frost on him just to eliminate him from the battlefield. And Zealot Bolt is going to actually heal Napu a little bit. Oh, dodged. Okay, unfortunate. Wow, Napu's dead almost immediately. Yeah, as you can see, uh, that guy is just absolutely insane. Uh, let's try and debuff him. Nope, he resisted it. Okay, let's try and poison him. Did he resist that as well? Yeah, he resisted that as well. He is literally just beasting on us right now, which is just insane. Okay, I can't really do anything with Zithia right now, so I will, I guess, 
move her a little bit more. Uh, uh, Peel needs to really decide very, very carefully about what he can do here. I'm going to try and eliminate her, I guess. Ah, oh, she's almost dead. Oh, and then she kills Zithia. Are you serious? Oh, no. Yeah, there's a reason why this is the final battle. This is really, really hard. Okay, let's see if we can kill her. There you go. So she's dead, and now we can maybe do enough damage to Somba to eliminate him. Oh, 77 damage. Unfortunately, Peel is now down, but... Oh, wow, mortally wounded. Yeah, these are all... Mo yeah, yeah. So there is a chance for them to actually become mortally wounded here. Uh, but there's also a chance for them to go into a coma. Okay, so now it is just Deswal who has 164 HP, basically the same amount of, of vitality that this guy has. And it's up against, uh, yeah, this insane Minotaur guy. Oh, oh, we actually did a lot of damage. Surprisingly. Surprisingly good damage. Okay, let's see what we can do. Okay, poison. We could poison or we could just straight up attack. Okay, I just I just went for the straight up attack because I thought we might have an opportunity there. Okay, dodge. Deswal is having some problems. Let's 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 damage him. Okay, yeah, he's resist. No! We failed just when he was at 10 HP. Okay, now we get to go to town and there you go. There is no shame, for the odds were stacked against you. Your day in the sun will come. I was playing on normal difficulty and our unlocks are zero of three but there you go that is pretty crazy in my opinion we have to win the championship to immortalize your team in the hall of fame we were so close just 10 hp would have done it ah ah that grinds my gears it does but anyway if you would like to check out mortal glory there is a link in the description i highly recommend it if you're a fan of games like swords and sandals and various other gladiatorial management kind of games it is a lot of fun. And so I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.